fire crews out here making sure there are no more hot spots here on scene. Things seem to be winding down. We were just seeing a fire crews put water there on some of those hot spots on the rubble there. Uh, you can see there that they're still kind of doing that at this moment. Now we know that the fire started around three this morning that it spread to several structures. We're not sure exactly how many at this point, but you can see some of what was once homes are now reduced to rubble at this point. A little while ago, we saw fire crews uh, spraying high powered hoses on the structures just to kind of get at some of those pieces that might be a little loose or compromised at this point. So that's why you see that big heap of rubble there this morning. Now, the most important part is no one is hurt this morning. That's what we're told from the fire department. We don't at this point even know if anyone was inside at the time when the fire started. I've asked the fire department if these are all vacant homes. We're not sure if these are all vacant homes, but we know just by looking at one of the doors of some of the homes down there that we did see a red tag, which usually indicates that a home is vacant, but we're still waiting on a confirmation on whether or not anyone was even inside or if these are all vacant homes. At this point, fire crews are still investigating how this all started. They are not sure at this moment, but they promise to give us updates and we will bring you those updates as we continue to learn more about this situation. But again, Pulaski Highway between North Haven Street and North Dean Street still shut down at this hour. We ran into that on our way here and people are being turned around at those points. So just be aware of that on your morning commute as well. For now, reporting live, I'm Brianna Ross, WBAL TV 11 News. Brianna, thank you. The good news this morning is at least fire crews do not have to work through rain or extremely uh, um, bad weather conditions this morning. Yeah, it doesn't sound like wind played a factor in that fire spreading to other structures. We're going to get it over to Ava Marie, and I know one of your concerns was that this could refreeze the water that they had to put on this fire. Yeah, I imagine fire crews just have that extra issue when they're fighting fires in the cold months because the water they put down can then freeze. In the city, the temperatures have been teetering at or above freezing, but some pavement may be a little colder. So of course they'll be mitigating that in that area.